with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. So we've been seeing some of these scattered showers across the area all day today, kind of isolated and scattered by nature, kind of because of those warm air we're seeing and breezy winds coming off the Gulf of Mexico, kind of aiding some of those shower formations. So right now, mostly more so on the quiet side, but we are still seeing a few of these isolated showers just near the Baton Rouge area near Baker and West Baton Rouge as well. So we're mainly going to be on the dry side as we close off today for your Sunday, but you see the sky cam, some of these darker clouds out there. So a few showers still out there left, but winds have been pretty breezy all day today and still a bit breezy at 16 miles per hour being recorded at the airport. So we do have that wind advisory still in effect for the entire area until about 8 o'clock this evening for winds possibly still gusting up to 20 to about to 30 miles per hour as well. So it will still be breezy even as we go into tonight as our lows dropping down only into the uh, upper 60s, lower 70s. So still more so on the warmer side and it will still feel kind of muggy out there too. I know with the rain as it moved through, you walk out the door and all it really did was kind of more, put more humidity it seems like in the atmosphere. So it will still be pretty humid and muggy as we begin our Monday morning. Then notice a little bit more of these cooler shades and these yellows kind of rolling through. That's going to be because of some rain we're going to be seeing come through the area tomorrow. So highs will still be into the 70s, lower 80s out there. So not as warm as it has been, but we will be seeing that rain. And that rain won't be with the front. So our lows will be a couple degrees lower for Tuesday morning, looking into the 60s. But by Tuesday afternoon, well, right back up into the lower to mid 80s again. So no real cool cool weather behind this rain as it comes to now with the rain and storms do you have a chance for some strong to possibly some severe weather with it as we have a level one out of five Mars and risk main threats will be some damaging wind gusts and it can't rule out maybe a quick spin up tornado as well. So here is our in-house model showcasing as you go through the morning hours. Here's this big complex of showers and storms off to the west that rolls through west to east roughly moving into the area late morning into the afternoon hours. Now some other computer models brings it in a little bit more earlier say around eight to ten o'clock in the morning. So a little bit less confidence in the exact timing, but likely going to be through the morning into the afternoon hours. We'll see this line of showers and storms roll through the area, likely weakening as it moves east southeastward toward the coast and toward the coastal Mississippi area. And then by tomorrow evening, more so on the drier side as you close off the day, head into your Tuesday and then Tuesday afternoon. No like chance for a couple isolated spotty showers, maybe a few storms out there as well. Now with the system of showers and storms it is just off to the west now over Texas. You see a tornado watch over portion of eastern Texas with these showers and storms as this mess begins to consolidate moves eastward, depending on how fast it moves, will determine how quickly it arrives for our area. But still thinking roughly about the morning into the afternoon hours. Now with the rainfall, we could be seeing around an inch, an inch and a half of rain over the next couple of days. That could lead to some issues flooding wise possible tomorrow as we guys see that line of showers and storms. But still going to your Tuesday into your Wednesday, still have some lower in rain chances. Kind of drier by Thursday, but we may see some more rain by the end of the week and high is still above average into the mid to upper 80s.